Hey everybody, this is Game Maniac here, trying a new little setting. Uh, this is actually my room. Um, so, yeah, just trying it out. Um, so, I figured I'd do an update video here. So, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Um, I got a few things here and there. So, uh, we'll get right to the video. So, the first thing I got is a DVD Blu-ray combo pack. Uh, this is actually the, uh, as far as I know, the final thing in the Full Metal Alchemist universe um, to, that I still need. And that is, it just came out, it is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, the OVA collection. So, like I said, I think this will be the final, final thing I need, unless they come out with another movie or something like that. Um, but you never know, they might. So, it's got a nice little, little slip cover, cover on it. <clears throat> inside just looks the same as the slipcover. Um, inside, it's a Funimation release, so it's got a Fill Me Out card. Um, the inside, if you're curi curious, um, has a picture. Pretty cool picture. I think Ed looks a little different in this picture. <laughs> I don't know. He just maybe, maybe it's the angle or something. But, uh, yeah. Um, first disc is actually the DVD in there. And the Blu-ray is the second. It actually has the same cover, so it really doesn't matter. And then you got uh, Ed's arm on the back of there. So not much on that side. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing these. Um, I haven't seen them. Um, I did not uh, end up liking the uh, Sacred Star Milos TV, uh, movie. I thought it was pretty good. So uh, Full Metal Alchemist hasn't disappointed me yet. So um, yeah, I'm hoping to like it. Um, it's got, I guess... It says 16 uh, bonus mini episodes, uh, but then on the back it says four OVA episodes, and uh, pretty much the uh, the 16 episode thing is a full metal four panel comic theater. So I'm not sure what that is, but uh, I'll find out, and hopefully it's good. So yeah, I'll be enjoying that when I get to it. Probably be the next thing I watch after I show you. I'm going to show you what I'm currently watching and stuff too here in a little bit, but. Uh, Picked up some manga as well. Um, my normal monthly things I've been doing. Uh, first one right here is the next Viz Big Edition of Inuyasha, number 11. And uh, it's got Inuyasha and Kagome on there. The back, can't quite remember what this guy's name is, but uh, doesn't really say on the back, I don't think. But uh, yeah, I'm loving these big editions because I mean it's three and one. Uh, can't really go wrong with that. So it's got uh, volumes 31, 32, and 33 in it. Pretty nice. Um, and basically it's going to go all the way up through uh, the final shard stuff where they're fighting this guy uh, inside his father's body uh, for the final shard. And uh, I believe, uh, yeah, he'll get like the adamant barrage and stuff, which is it's getting pretty far along in the story. So that's cool. I don't know how many more, I don't know exactly how many volumes of Inuyasha there are. Um, I'm thinking there's something in the 40 range, maybe 50. But I'm not sure. I'll find out as they come out. And, uh, yeah, enjoying these. Next, I've been getting these the past couple months. Um, getting two at a time, usually. So, uh, this will complete Dragon Ball. It's volume 5 of the Biz Big Edition. This completes it. Another picture of Goku on the front. Pretty cool. Uh, the back older Goku and Chi Chi in a car. Looks like they just got married. <laughs> uh, got a cool little side picture of Goku on there. At least I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, and they continue the trend of uh, having random color chapters in, inside these things. Um, doesn't seem like there's a rhyme or reason to what chapters they pick. As far as I can tell, it's just random ones here and there, which is cool. But the other cool thing about this one, um, is it actually is volumes 13 through 16 so that's four four and one that's pretty cool i mean it's a if you want to i'll show you this one too well i'll show you a comparison here of uh the difference in size there <laughs> so definitely like this when i get to that um i haven't really started doing that because i'm still reading uh some other stuff but uh and here's this other one since i finished dragon ball i of course got the first Viz Big Edition of Dragon Ball Z. So and that's volumes 1, 2, and 3. Picture of Goku. It's always got a cool picture. It's hard for Goku not to look cool, in my opinion. 
Uh, I like this in the back. The greatest fighting manga ever. Um, I'm going to have to be inclined to agree with that. At least for me. Uh, it's probably my favorite. Um, and these, and yes, the Dragon Ball Z ones even have some color ones in there as well. And this will go all the way up through, um, all the way up through the middle of the G Vegeta fight, like halfway through it, um, when he's at Goku versus Vegeta. So, yeah, I'll be uh, continuing to collect those every month and getting farther and farther in those, so that'll be cool. Um, next on the list is uh, another manga, one I've been collecting as well, and that is the next Berserk. So, I, like I said, I try to get one of these every month. Um, in my opinion, he's looking older and older. I always love the front covers on these. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it has to do with uh, his Berserker, his armor that he's got on. Uh, that stuff just, I don't know why he wears it. I mean, I guess he kind of has to now. Um, but, yeah, where I'm at, I still am got to get through 29 all the way. Um, so, uh, not quite to 30 yet, but uh, I got it because it's, you know, new month. I try to get one every month, so. Um, what I noticed about this one, though, is I'll show you 27 since I have it out already. Um, but for some reason, 30 is a whole lot smaller than the rest of them. I'm not sure why exactly. Um, it has the same content. It's still got 10 chapters in it. Maybe the chapters are smaller or shorter. Um, also notice that it feels like the the paper itself may be a different paper. It's like thinner or something. Uh, but it's not a big deal. It's still got all the amazing artwork and stuff of Berserk. Um, same story. So can't complain there. So uh, that's pretty much all the ones I can show you with pickups wise. Um, I, w I do have one more coming on the way, but it didn't arrive with the other one since it was a pre-order. Um, but it should arrive in the next couple days. And I'll, I'll do a video on that one uh, when I get it. So, with that, I'll show you currently playing, reading, and watching. We'll start with the reading since we're already on manga. So, which actually, it's, it's right back behind me. Um, and that is, I'm currently reading The Walking Dead, book six. I actually just finished book five today, and uh, I still have six and seven to go through that I'm borrowing from a, a friend that I work with. Um, it's just, this series just keeps getting crazier and crazier. People you think are going to live, they die. People you, uh, stuff that you don't, you can't even think about what's going to happen. It's it just, it's bad news <laughs> uh, at all times. And I love these pictures on the back, different zombies all the time. And on the front, it's always got a main character surrounded by zombies. The colors are always different. Um, so, I mean, some pretty uh, crazy stuff that happens in these books. That's all I can say. Um, uh, I like the story a lot. So, uh, looking forward to season three, of course. Um, so, that's what I'm currently reading. Uh, next, what I'm currently, uh, we'll go with watching um, first. Um, I just, I've watched the first, I want to say four episodes now. Maybe five. But, four or five. Um, but that's of Claymore. I picked this up a little bit ago. Just going through it. I hadn't seen it before. It's got 26 episodes. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm liking it a lot. It's, uh... It's, it's a violent series. Um, I actually could say, I could see this on Adult Swim or, well, Toonami now. I could say this would be a good one to have on there. I mean, it's not as long. It's an older series. Um, be a cool one to see on there. Um, but yeah, I'm liking this a lot. Um, it's about, uh, the main character's name is Claire, and she's just, they go around killing things called Yoma, and uh, they're basically like demon entities, and uh, the thing about what a Claymore is, is they're actually part human, part Claymore, so they actually have an advantage to uh, detecting the Yoma, killing the Yoma, and they have better abilities, and for some reason, don't know why yet, but for some reason, it only, you can only, the Claymores can only be women. So, interesting, very interesting, and it's got a very cool story, it's like set in like, it's not modern times at all, it's uh, definitely like medieval times. So, yeah, I'm going through this and enjoying it a lot. I would recommend, uh, if you like, you know, any kind of like, sword play and a good story um medieval times type thing it almost is like berserk, berserk in a way um only it's got a chick with a big sword instead of a, a guy still different than berserk but uh still cool so that that's what i'm watching getting through that pretty nicely and now what i'm playing um i'm currently playing back to the future of the game only paid 10 bucks for this game it's got all five of the episodes on it um I'm enjoying this a lot. It's from Ter uh, Telltale Games. 